Hello everybody, it's Mateo and today we're going to be talking about why you are not doing enough damage in Pet Simulator 99. Now, damage is actually probably one of the most complicated features about Pet Simulator 99, so if you don't fully understand how it works, don't be discouraged at all. Basically, the way you think it would work is the complete opposite way of how it actually works. So with that, there can be a lot of misconceptions and a lot of things you think you might know about damage. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a deep dive into how the damage mechanic works in this game and how you guys can maximize it for your own setups. And if this video does end up helping you out all i ask is that you give it a like and subscribe for more helpful pet simulator 99 content now let's get right into how damage works in pet simulator 99 all right you guys so we are here in game and we are at the current last world in pet simulator 99 which at the time of recording this is 224 the kawaii temple now it has been quite a bit of time since we have made a damage type video on this channel and honestly since the last time i made one of these damage videos my understanding about how damage works in this game has probably multiplied by 100x because it truly is like one of the most confusing mechanics in the game for whatever reason so if you guys have had any trouble understanding it do not be discouraged at all pretty much everything that is discovered about damage is just found out by doing testing in game big games doesn't really like to disclose how a lot of these mechanics works for some reason so but luckily for you guys i have done a ton and ton of testing myself and i have a pretty good grasp so by the end of this video you will have everything you need to know in order to maximize your damage for your particular setup which leads me to the first tip of this video which is that most of the advice that you're going to be getting in pet simulator 99 regarding damage is going to be based off of people's individual loadouts and how they have their pets how many pet equip slots enchants potions all of this other junk so what that means is that in pet simulator 99 there isn't just like one best way to do things there are like a hundred different ways that you could reach the same goal now with that being said the first thing that you need to know about damage in this game is that there is a very low damage cap to how much damage you can actually do to a breakable now when you hear that there is a damage cap in this game you're probably thinking that there's some sort of set limit to how high your damage can actually go now that's actually not the case in this game your damage can keep going up what the damage cap actually is in game is that you cannot break a single breakable in under three hits so that will be true for your pets for clicking for pretty much everything in the game that you're trying to increase your damage for now if i go ahead and start clicking on these breakables you'll notice that every single time it'll take me at minimum three clicks to actually destroy one of these breakables and that goes for all the different types of breakables that there are with different varying levels of health now for example the breakable with the least amount of health are these little stacks of coins so if i go ahead here and click you'll see that it's going to still take me three clicks to break it now the breakable with the most health are these big safes here so even these are only going to take three hits to break now that's because i am reaching the damage cap now the same will go with whatever huges you're using as well so i'll just pull out one of my rainbow huges here and watch how fast it goes through these breakables every single breakable that it breaks is going to take at least three hits at minimum and this is one of the stronger huges that i have in my lineup now you guys might be thinking that i'm breaking these breakables in three hits because i just have all these crazy pets but even if i go ahead and equip just like one of my level one huge pets they are still going to be destroying these breakables in three hits as you can see each one of them is still doing the same exact amount of damage and going just as quickly as the other it doesn't matter if it's a rainbow gold shiny or even a titanic the most amount of damage that your pets can do is three hits to a breakable now the reason why it's so important that you understand how the damage cap works is because a lot of people actually go overkill on how much damage they're trying to do because since i'm already at the damage cap for all of my pets any sort of damage enchants or damage potions or even fruit are pretty much useless because i'm not going to be increasing the amount of damage that i'm doing to the overall breakables now what you might have noticed is when my pet actually went ahead and started hitting this mini chest for example, it did not break in three hits. Now, the reason for this is because this technically is not a breakable. Everything from these mini chests to superior chests, all the way to boss chest mimics, boss lucky blocks, all have a lot more health though. So because of that, the damage enchants that you use, as well as damage potions and fruits, 
all do benefit the damage that you do to those types of breakables because they do have the higher scales of health. Which means that if you are trying to grind for a lot of items and you're using enchants like the chest mimic, boss lucky block, boss chest mimic, superior chest, all of those enchants might actually require you to use some sort of damage increasing buffs, even if you are already at the damage cap for regular breakables. If you're at the damage cap and you use these types of damage enchants or buffs, it will increase how fast you're able to get through the big chests and stuff like that. So now that you know how the damage cap actually works in this game, it's also important to know the number one thing that actually influences how much damage you're doing to all sorts of breakables, even if you're at the damage cap. And that's going to be whatever your best stat pet is. Because if we go ahead and read the description of one of these exclusive pets, you'll see that it says the pet will always be 85% as strong as one of your best pets. And that best pet is going to be the pet with the strongest power number on your team. For this example, my best stat pet is this Painted King Crab Rainbow Shiny, which has 42.3 trillion power. So what the description of this sad doge means is that this exclusive right here will be doing 85% of the damage of this pet right here. Now, if we compare the description of the sad doge to something like the Happy Rock, the huge Happy Rock will always be stronger than whatever your best stat pet is. And how much percent better it's going to be is going to be right there under the level. So at level 99, a huge is going to be doing 100% more damage than the best stat pet that you have. So for example, if this Painted Crab is doing 1 trillion damage, my huge level 99 Happy Rock is going to be doing 2 trillion damage. Now, obviously, that isn't including all of the royalty charms and strength charms and the other things that are on these huges. So, yeah, when building your team, what you're going to want to do is invest in the best stat pet that you can afford. And that's going to make all of your exclusive pets and then all of your huges just that much better. All of the rainbow, gold and shiny versions of exclusives are going to be better than whatever your best stat pet is. But all of the regular versions of the exclusives are going to be slightly worse than that best stat pet. Now, another thing thing that is important to know is that in event worlds the other outside step pets that you have won't affect how much damage you're doing in them so for example if i was in the color world and my best stat pet was this masked owl my damage wouldn't be based off of the masked owl instead it would be based off of this painted balloon because that is my best stat pet in that event world but it doesn't work the same way out in the real world with the event pets even though my best stat pet is one of the color pets, the damage I do out here is still based off of that color pet. So that's just another one of the dumb little things that you got to understand with this game. Now, after you go ahead and purchase the best stat pet that you can afford, the next most important thing in the game for dealing damage and being able to clear areas is going to be how many pet equip slots you have. Since it is Pet Simulator 99, the most amount of pet equip slots that you can get are 99. Now, I think the biggest mistake that people make when they first start playing the game is that they don't actually invest in these pet equip slots. The amount of pet equip slots you have directly determines how fast you're able to clear areas, which essentially means how fast you're going to be able to get diamonds and items and everything else that you're even grinding for in the first place. Now, before you even get investing in exclusive pets and huge pets, you should be definitely maxing out the most amount of pet equip slots that you can buy at your current rank in the game. Buying those pet equip slots is going to enable you to do a lot more more overall damage you're just gonna have to trust me on this and go ahead and buy all of those slots that you can get at your current rank until you get the max of 99 slots my biggest pet peeve is when i see people have teams of like 10 huges and they only have like 50 pet equip slots now next up in terms of things that affect your damage in the game is going to be your enchant loadout now this is my enchant loadout from the how to make diamonds video i did last week you guys should definitely check that out because that was a very in-depth guide kind of like the one i'm doing now but instead it was on how to make the most diamonds when grinding now in terms of damage enchants in this game there aren't really all that many to be fair the most common ones that you will see are the strong pets books as well as the criticals books now in game there is a lot of debate about which one is better now i can tell you right off the bat that criticals books technically are going to give you more bang for your buck in terms of overall damage in the bigger picture but the only reason why you shouldn't use the criticals books is if you are trying to hit that damage cap for breakables and the reason for that is because if you use strong pets this is just going to directly increase how much damage you're doing 
doing at every single breakable and if that actually pushes you to the point where you can destroy every breakable in three hits that's going to be a lot more effective than a criticals book which will only allow you to break breakables in three hits some of the time whenever crit actually procs so being able to more consistently just hit that damage cap with strong pets might be a bigger benefit for you compared to using something like the criticals book now the shiny supercharge is another damage book but i have to tell you guys to never use this this is actually worse than the strong pets 9 book even if you do have shiny pets it literally is only increasing your strength by 100 percent compared to something like the strong pets 9 book which increases all of your pet strength by 135 percent but if you are really struggling to get damage and you are using multiple of these books and you're hitting the damage cap for them you can actually stack this on top of it but i don't think there's ever going to be a situation in which you need to do that much damage then besides this there's also corruption which gives you a chance to proc when hitting some breakables that breakable will turn black and then you're going to be able to do a lot more damage to it even with corruption proc you still can't break that three hit limit so don't even try that the only time corruption is useful is if, if you are trying to continuously grind something with a very high health like one of these chests for example and then lastly when it comes to damage buffs you pretty much only have to use them again if you are grinding for items and you're trying to do additional damage to things that have high health like these big chests or boss chests or boss lucky blocks and stuff like that i just did a ton of yapping so i think i'm gonna end the video here i think you guys have a great understanding of how damage actually works in this game starting off making sure that you invest in a good stat pet because that is going to determine all of your damage for all of your other pets and then after after that make sure that you are purchasing the max amount of pet equip slots that you can get at your current rank in game and then if you need additional damage after that that's when you should go ahead and start using additional damage buffs like potions as well as fruits but that is pretty much it for damage i hope this video did help you out and if it did remember to give it a like and subscribe for more thank you guys so much for the support lately on the channel it's been absolutely insane hope to see you guys in the next one and peace out